I want to start off and talk about the basic vocabulary of functions. Specifically, we'll have to start off with what is a function, and then move on to what is the domain and range. All right, so let's get started. What exactly is a function? Well, if you open up any math book, chances are it gives you a definition similar to this one. A function is a relation in which, for each distinct value of the first component of the ordered pairs, there is exactly one value of the second component. Now, that's a great definition. It really does describe a function. Unfortunately, you still might not have a real good idea as to what it's talking about. Well, let's use a couple of examples and see if we can pick this definition apart. So, when you're talking about a function, it's basically a special type of relation. And a relation is a connection uh, among two things, say uh, two data points, or in math, two numbers. So, to represent some relations, I have basically a whole bunch of ordered pairs. 2 is related to 3, 5 to negative 1, and negative 3 to 2, just like that. Now, to really determine if this collection of things is a function, I have to make sure it satisfies my definition. So what I'm checking for is to make sure that for each of these ordered pairs, that the first value is only associated with one second value. Now, if you go through uh, this first set, you actually see that it satisfies this definition. This is because 2 is associated only with the 3, and the 5 is only associated with the negative 1, and the negative 3 is only associated with the 2. All right? So since the first component is only associated with one of the second components, it definitely is a function. Now contrast that with this set of ordered pairs over here. This one is actually not a function, and the problem lies in the first and third. That's because if you're looking at this, 2 is associated with 3, and 2 is also associated with the negative 4. Definitely not a function when that happens. What you find is that, in practice, it's often easier determining whether something, um, it, determining whether something is not a function rather than trying to figure out whether it is a function. And to do that very quickly, you know, just make sure that you know, for every first component that it only goes to one thing in the second component. If you ever get the first component going to more than one thing in the second one, you can scratch it off. It's not a function. Now, quickly before we get into domain and range, here's a way you can think of these ordered pairs. Since the second value depends on the first value, we can consider these uh, types of variables an independent variable and a dependent variable. You're going to want to keep that in mind for this next part. What is the domain and range? Well, again, this is associated with some sort of definition. So if you take the set of all values of the independent variable, it is known as the domain. And if you take the set of all the values of the dependent variable, it's known as the range. So even though that sounds kind of like a tricky definition, it's, again, talking about the first and second components that you could get in these relations. So here's that function that we had actually before. If I want to talk about the domain of this function, I'm basically talking about the 2, the 5, and the negative 3. And if I wanted to, I could even list those things out. So this is the collection of all of my values that the independent variable could take on. For the range, I'm talking about all of those second components. So the 3, the negative 1, and the 2. So this rep represents all of the values that the uh, dependent variable could take on. Now, when you're looking at a set of ordered pairs, it's probably one of the nicest situations uh, to figure out whether it is a function and to also draw out the domain and range. Things do get a little bit more complicated as you start getting into, say, graphing a function and looking at all of the possible uh, ordered pairs you can get, or also looking at the equation of a function uh, when you might not have any clue as to the actual values of input and output that you're getting. But those will be explained in just a bit. So these are the basics of what a function is, as well as its domain and range.